you to have nothing left by the end of this day because I want you to give it all right now to this moment as we welcome up the Chris Stop, 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 stop. Man. Something really amazing has to happen this afternoon, right? Would you agree? Yes. How many of you would like for this session to be life-changing? No, no, I'm serious. Like, raise your hand if you actually want this to be a life-changing session. Yes or yes? yes? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. Josh just said show up. I said yes or yes? Yes! yes. Thank you. I mean, are you not supposed to be some of the most motivated people on the planet, making crazy amounts of money, making good choices, living your highest and best life possible? Yes or yes? Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. So uh, in the time that I have, so, so Josh flew down with I on a couple of others on my private jet. I only have about four and a half, five hours with you. I want to make the most of our time here. And I promise you, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to do all that I can, but I'm going to need your help. Yes or yes? Yes. Which means show up, which means get proactive, take notes, listen, because I didn't come with a prefabricated message to help you level up your life. I need you to bring your part and your energy so I can help you. And I'm just gonna test for a moment. What do you want? Success. Oh my gosh, potpourri, smells so nice means nothing. Can you please be more general? I mean, more specific. <laughs> $10 million a year, thank you for being specific. By the way, is there anyone else here that'd like to make $10 million a year or more? Raise your hand. Yeah. Now be honest, how many of you, when he said that, you judge that number and you're like, oh, that, that number is totally out of reach. That, that, like, is there anyone here that was a little bit like, that was too much? That's okay, we all have a financial barometer. A what? Financial barometer. Excuse me, a what? Financial barometer. Okay, your financial barometer says, what are you going after? You were the first to raise your hand, thank you for being brave. I'm like, I don't need $10 million. I'm gonna give you a plan on how to become a billionaire. Did you just laugh? Hey, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, that's okay to be nervous. Yeah. Now, in all seriousness, currently I'm not a billionaire, but this year my net worth is increasing nine figures. So for those of you here in this room that like math, that means over $100 million. So my days are numbered before I actually achieve billionaire status for the first time, and I'm gonna do it 100 times over in this life, I guarantee it. Because making money is a system. It's a what? System. It's not about luck. It's about systems. So I'm going to be bringing you some systems. And here's the really cool thing about Josh. Josh cares that you, right there, green shirt, what's your name? Travis. Okay, guys, we have a little bit of a, we're going to do something a little bit here to acknowledge who this amazing man is. And every one of you, when you talk today, when he says what his name is, we're all going to say, or I'm going to ask him what his name is. He says, my name's Travis. And we're all going to say, hey, Travis. And we're all going to do it together. We're going to send some energy that way. Wait, what's your name? My name is Travis. Hey, hey Travis. Travis. Thank you, brother. I want you to know that Josh believes that you can bring home $10 million a year. And by the way, I don't know about you, but I, I, I would love to work for a company where the boss, the owner, the CEO believes that that is possible for me. Give it up for Josh that he believes that for you. Yeah. Do you know what it looks like to partner in real estate with me? Check it out. I've got people all over the world that watch me on social and they realize, wait a second, Chris, I've got money sitting in 401ks, IRAs, equity in my home that is doing nothing. As in, it's earning single digit ROIs and it's not gonna compound meaningfully to give me the retirement that I want because at the age of 65, the average person has $255,000 in retirement. It's not a ton. But partnering with me means putting that money into real estate and letting money perform for you in incredible ways. If you want to access double digit returns in real estate and yet not have to do any of the work, leave it up to me and my team. Click the link below, learn about partnering. Let me show you my track record on my last $2 billion worth of deals. You want money coming from how many different sources? As many as I can. No, no, that's potpourri. Do not be general with me. Okay, Ray Dalio says that you should have 15. Do you know why? You eliminate 90% of all risk in your portfolio when you have 15 different sources of income from diversified asset classes. So how many do you want? 15. Really good choice, give it up for him. I like that, it's very specific, very good. Yeah. What else do you want? What else do you want? Freedom. I already heard from you. And that's more potpourri. Define it for me. This is one of the hardest questions of life. We are in right now, you guys are like ovarian lottery winners. You're in America. 
So right now we are in one of the freest countries on the planet. We're gonna maintain that as long as we can, which currently means that you have so many opportunities. What is freedom to you and how would you define it? And what are you really actually going after? I want more time with my family. Okay, so define that. That's, that is, by the way, more potpourri. I want more time with my family. You're never going to have it. Do you know why? Because you haven't defined what it is. So be honest with me. How much time do you want? Um, at least four days a week with them. Okay, this is a tricky question for just a moment. So we got a lot of men in this room. I want to tell you something about masculine hierarchy. Let's just say he says, I want to be financially free so I can spend all my time with my family. Do you know what will likely happen to his life, mission, and purpose? Do you know what will happen to his natural motivation and drive if he doesn't work? Does anyone know what will happen to it? Will it go up or down? It'll go down because the only people that want out of jobs are people that hate what they do for a living, which is 85% of all people according to Gallup. Does that make sense? So by the way, this is a tricky question because you are meant to work, but to find a work that is so fulfilling that you would never classify it as work. So when I say how much time do you want with your family, it's not all the time, it's going to be the right amount of time. How much time for your young family do you want to be able to give them? The right amount of time. And how much is that? Take a guess. Um, it's, it's private, I can't be right on this one, right? Yeah, I'd, I would say four days a week. Four days a week. Dedicated to family. Got it, so three days of work, four days dedicated to his family. How many of you think that sounds pretty cool? How many of you think that, by the way, if he can make all the money he wants and grow it year over year and still give four days a week to his family, how many of you think that'd be amazing? Yeah. What's your name? Ethan. Hey, hey Ethan. Ethan. Guys, give it up for Ethan. That's a great answer, thank you, thank you. For those of you that are gonna be taking notes, you might wanna drop this one down on that piece of paper or in your phone. You can only get what you want if you know what it is. So when you say potpourri answers like, I want more money, I want more freedom, I want more time with my family, congratulations, you get nothing. You lose, you're out. Because you didn't place a specific order. What else do you want? What's your name? I'm Sam. Hey, hey Sam. Sam. Sam, what do you want? Got it. Is it specific? Yeah, he wants his first house. Is it specific? Yes. Kind of. When do you want it? Like in 30 years? I want it next year. Oh, you want it in 2023. That's very specific. That's measurable. If he gets it and it comes by 2023, will he get what he wanted and will he know the moment it happens? Yes or yes? Yes. Give it up for Sam. That's awesome, brother. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. I've helped people achieve that 6,000 times, over a billion dollars worth. I know something about that, and believe it or not, we're talking about that today, even though this is a solar company combo. We're gonna be talking about real estate, yeah? Uh, why are we talking about real estate, by the way? Why is Josh, do you know this, that Josh is infusing investing and real estate as options in Elite, creating diversified portfolios? Why on earth, crazy man, isn't he distracting his people? Why would he do that? Because the goal isn't solar. He said it, what's the goal? living whose highest and best life? No. Whose? Hello, finger, finger up in the air, magic finger. Come on, put it up right here, shake it. Put it up right now, put it up real high. Take the bend out of your elbow. Hello, I didn't say this, I said this. Show me right now. Yeah, all the way, all the way. Not like this, like this. Do you not understand what I'm saying? You're smart and tells you, oh, no, you're doing this right now. I said this. <laughs> There's no joint in the arm. This is your magic finger. You think you're exempt? Thank you very much. Okay, now we're all playing along. Magic, magic finger. You're gonna put it on your heart and you're going to say, I'm here to live my best life. Now say it with a little bit of energy. Now say it like you care. I'm here to live my best life. That's what the owner of the company wants for you. And that's either potpourri hogwash, does he really care? Or is that actually what this entire afternoon is all about? Did you know that this entire afternoon is about that? I know because I'm here to give you the entire blueprint on how you can live the most fulfilling life. Some people don't know what that means. They wonder, is that a philosophy? How would you like to be shown a map where you can have everything that you want? Let's test it, let's test it. How many of you would like to have all the time and resource to have your fittest body that you could have and would love to have that body, by the way? Raise your hand. Say yes if you're passionate about that one. Yes. Okay, how many of you would like to have all the money that you can buy all the things that you want, literally without limit, 
Like how many of you want that? Yes or yes? Yes. And how many of you want to have the love of your life, family members, core relationships, all in alignment with each other where you're growing together and everything is coming together for good? How many of you want that? Yes or yes? Yes. Okay, cool. My definition of an amazing life, just like Josh's, is your health is in line, your wealth is in line, your relationships are in line. That relationship is with you, you and God, you and others, you and spouse. By the way, this is my amazing wife, Colleen, who's joined uh, with us here today. And this woman is my core motivation. She takes care of our amazing family of four kids. And uh, anything you may like from me today, just know she's a huge part of who I am. So give it up for Colleen. So Josh means it when he says he wants you to have your most amazing life. So when I ask, what do you want? It doesn't just have to be in solar. Solar is what you do to produce an outcome. Who gets this? And the question is, are you wanting the right things? We're going to tighten it up a little bit because I'm also here not just to give you a, a roadmap for getting the life that you want. I'm also here to help you understand where motivation comes from. By the way, do I give off a lot of energy or a little bit of energy? Is that just because I'm a motivational speaker who's probably really quiet and then comes in the room and like puts on this farce lie of an inauthentic show to like show a display of, uh, you know, excitement and energy? No. Josh, <laughs> is this who I am? Yes or yes? Yeah. All right. Now, by the way, I'm telling you right now, I've got motivation for lifetimes. <laughs> I got lifetimes of motivation eking out of me and there's a system for motivation. Who wants to know what that system is? Because yeah. do, do not lie to me. How many of you knock that 30th door of the day and you're like, Ugh. <laughs> raise your hand, you know what I'm talking about. You're like, you know, it'd be a lot more motivating if the last two doors said yes, right? Like that would be cool. That would make this blitz totally worth it. How about that first door? So we're gonna talk about where motivation comes from because it's not luck and it's not DNA, it's a choice. It's a what? Choice. So we're going to talk about how you make that choice and tap into endless motivation. What else do you want? I want to get my dad out of Wait, what's your name? My name's Oscar. Hey, hey Oscar. Oscar. I want to get my dad out of work. Yeah, why do you want to get your dad out of work? Uh, I just feel like he's done a lot for us. Yeah. He's like busted his, his butt just working for us so we can have everything that we want and need. How, how old's your dad? My dad's 51. 51. Does he have a retirement plan? No. Does that worry you? How much do you think he has saved and set aside for retirement? I don't think he has anything saved for retirement. Yeah, so he's an average American. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. Can we dive deep on this one for just a second? Y'all pretty young in this room, right? Like I'd say that the median age is like late 20s, early 30s. Is that fair? Yeah. Early 20s to mid 20s. Is that fair? Yeah. So just a little bit on my journey. Uh, I, I grew up in a family with a German immigrant father that said that, son, I work for myself, I remodel homes, I do roofing, I build houses. It is so hard, it is sometimes 16 hour days and because I got nine kids and you're number four, don't make my mistake. You gotta get good grades, you gotta go to college and then you gotta work for somebody and after doing that for 40 years, you're gonna have piles of money in the bank and you're gonna be successful. Curious, was anyone else told that or something similar or a little bit like that? Cool, yeah, so just halfway into the next generation, 10 years from now, Gen Z, they're starting to pick up on stuff and guess what, will you open that thing for me? <laughs> um, Gen Z, they couldn't give a crap about going to college because they're like, um, excuse me, it, who cares what you know? It's what you can access and the world of access does not require a degree. Josh, did you get a degree? Yeah. Really, what'd you get it in? And how often, <laughs> and how often do you use that in solar? Oh, every, day? every single day, all day long. It's your favorite, right? Is there any like relationship between chemistry and what you do as a business owner? Uh, no. no, but did you have to pay for that education? Um, kind of. Did your parents kick in? No, I had Church subsidized, you had a great scholarship. Yeah, by the way, did it take you time to get that education? And was that time, was there a lot of good things that you learned in it? Yeah. Because by the way, education is important. Yes or yes? Yes. Yeah, however, there's a huge disconnect between, you know, education and the kind of education that will help you become really successful in life. And I think today I'm gonna to share some ideas that are designed to give you, I'm gonna call it a real world education and a little bit of a wake up call that I think some of you in this room already get, but I wanna get us on the same page. Can I do that? Yes. Yes or yes? Yes. Because it's for Oscar who said, my dad, is 51, he's got nothing for retirement. Statistically, 
Your parents, by the time they are in their 60s, will have $200,000 set aside for retirement. Now they have nothing in the bank because it's sitting in 401ks and IRAs and they've been participating in that plan for three or four decades. So I'm just kind of curious. Um, some of you in this room make pretty good money. How many of you know that it's pretty easy to spend $100,000 a year? Curious, $200,000 for retirement. How many years would that last for someone who's used to spending 100 grand a year? Awesome, you're gonna retire, you're gonna survive for two years and then you're gonna die. <laughs> now modern medicine is gonna keep you alive for how long? You think 20 or 30 years, but at your age, I'm gonna to live to be 140 years old. It's a little shocking because you're looking back, but if you actually look at the futurists and you look at the breakthroughs in modern medicine, there will not be quality of life for you, but your life will be extended way beyond 100. The question is, if you're retiring in your 60s, how prepared are you for that? So here's the problem in America, and um, you're halfway to solving the problem and I wanna break it down because if you can understand what I'm about to share with you, I can give you a blueprint. When I said to become a billionaire, uh, I'm not lying. I'll show you exactly how billionaires are made on average every single time. And it starts with people in rooms like this that have an extraordinary opportunity to earn income far beyond their means. By the way, do you have such an opportunity? Yes or yes? Yes. yes. How many of you are surprised with the kind of money that you've made so far in this opportunity? And how many of you hope to get way better at it so you can make way more money at it? Great. By the way, if you make really good money, let's be honest about your industry and most successful sales industries, you're going to take that money and you're going to do what with it? You're going to blow it on what? Stuff. You're going to blow it on a Corvette. It might be blue. You're going to... Mm. Josh has the kind of income that can sustain that. But for many people... It's all about earn really great income and then we're gonna spend it. It's called Parkinson's Law. What's it called? Parkinson's Law. It means that you spend plus or minus 10% of what you make. So if you're fortunate to go from $50,000 a year to a quarter million dollars a year, and if you're not careful, you might find yourself spending how much a year? Quarter million dollars a year. And then you learn how to make a half a million dollars a year and you might find yourself actually acquiring debts and buying bigger houses and doing things so that you're spending how much a year? A half a million dollars a year. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, you're dead, you're trapped. There is a different game plan. So here's the reality. I'm 21 years old back then. I was going to college. I wanted to go into chemistry. I failed miserably at a college called Brigham Young University with a lot of eager beavers that wanted to become doctors. And they thought, hey, it's our job to like weed you out of that. And I got successfully weeded out of that whole process. <laughs> Uh, cause I've got a, th a little bit more street smarts in me than I have school smarts because there are some like zoology, biology, chemistry. I hate science. <laughs> it is not natural for me. Statistics and math on the other hand, I like the numbers game a little bit. I nerd out on that stuff. Uh, but, um, I, here I am in college. I thought I was gonna be a doctor, met this beautiful woman, told her I was going to be a doctor, probably gave you some sense of security. Like he's got a plan. Like <laughs> this is good. Right. I mean, technically most people think doctors are top of the food chain. Yes or yes. yes. So I'm going to be a doctor and then we get married and then I start failing out of chemistry and I'm like, Hey, that's not going to happen anymore. It was a lot less happy than that. And I just thought, okay, if I'm not going to do that, I need an alternative. So I started looking at, college and just saying what kind of jobs are out there and what kind of money can you make? 60,000 a year, 110,000 dollars a year, 42,000 dollars a year, 38,000 dollars a year and I'm like wait a second. It sounds like the purpose of going to college is not education. It's learning how to be a cog in someone else's machine. It's about being a worker. It's about being owned by somebody else for 40 years and putting $200,000 aside for retirement, have that last for a few years and then run out of money and then what do you do? You rely on family, charity, or the government. This is a, this is like, this is America? Like that's what it is? This sucks. So my pressure is that I wanted to take care of my parents, Oscar. And I thought there's no way that I'm gonna be able to take care of my own family and my parents if I'm going to college to get a job. Turns out that going to college and getting a job is about paying bills, not getting ahead. And if you're an extreme Dave Ramseyite, do I have any Dave Ramsey fans? I won't hold it against you. I will a little bit, that was the truth. <laughs> Dave Ramsey says, spend nothing, pay off debts and save, save, save and buy things cash. I'm like, 
that's an even worse plan. You're never gonna get anywhere with that plan because here's the truth. How many of you think it'd be cool if you were a millionaire? How many think it'd be cool? Okay, cool, let's say that at retirement, you don't have $200,000, you are a better earner, you are a better saver, and here you go. You finally have, at retirement, $1 million, and you're like, oh yeah, I made it. So then you're like, great, what am I supposed to do with that million? If, I'm, if I spend 100 grand a year, then in how many years will this be gone? 10 years, so instead you're like, I'm gonna call a financial planner. These are the people that help you make post-retirement plans so that you can get by. So you call up the financial plan and they're like, yes, you don't want to spend that million in, in a decade, you'll have nothing and you're probably not gonna be dead. So they say you should annuitize it. You're like, oh, that's a big word, what does that mean? They say you need to live off of the interest and not the principal. Don't spend the million, live off of the interest of the million. Who's tracking? You following me? Interest? So you ask this really smart question. What is the maximum amount of interest that I can get in the market without risking my principal, my million dollars? And you know what they say? 3%. Now, some of you in this room are really good at math. I just want to show you this real quick. Pulling out my calculator. It's right here. Yours probably looks like this, yes? And I'm going to put this number in here. $1 million. Looks like that. There's two commas. And I say, great. We're going to hit times by 0.03. That's what, how you do the math for 3%. And it tells you that you can get $30,000 a month or a year? A year. So you're like, well, I, I, I kind of do my budgeting based on a monthly, so let's just divide that by 12. Oh, cool, it's 2,500 bucks. I'm a millionaire, woo, and I spend, I get $2,500 a month? Hello? Is there anyone here that would like cry if you worked hard to become a millionaire and to keep that million safe, all you could spend from the interest? was $2,500 a month? That doesn't cover Josh Jones's car payment. <laughs> I'm loving on him, because he's my friend. How, what's the problem with this plan? So you say, well, what if I wanted to retire on nothing lavish, just 100 grand a year? Because you know, I might have kids, I might have grandkids, I'd, I'd like to do some world travel. Like, How many of you think that at retirement, it'd be kind of cool to do some cool stuff? How many of you would agree that 100,000 is not a lot of money to do cool stuff? But let's just say all you wanted was that. And the financial planner says, no problem. All you need to do is save $3.3 .3 million. And now we can give you $100,000, eight grand a month, every year for the rest of your life. You telling me that I gotta save $3.3 .3 million just to retire on $100,000? Honest feedback, what do you think about that? Be honest, what is it? There's gotta be a lot better out there. There's gotta be something way better out there than that. What else? Honest feedback. It's a lot of work for a lot of return. Dude, that is a ton of work. And by the way, I gave you my 40 years, and now I'm at retirement where I don't have more time to do more years, and this and I can't change this anymore. This is all I got. What other what other feedback to this? I think most people are okay with that. Yes. But is this room filled with most people? How many of you know, by the way, that you're divergent? You are rebels. You are more entrepreneurial than anything else. You don't fit inside the box and you know because you hate lines. You don't like to be corralled. Raise your hand if you get what I'm talking about. Okay, th this is why I like who's in this room right here because I get you. And so you're right, a lot of people would be okay with this. Raise your hand if you would not be okay with this after 40 freaking years of working your butt off. This is a problem. It's a what? Problem. Yeah. So the question is, how do you break it? You've got the first part of the game plan. The first part of the game plan is, I don't know, like find the right solar company and just make bank, right? Like that's, <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. That is the start of a plan. But I want to give you a complete plan. And I'm going to show you how people become millionaires and billionaires with this plan. Can I do it? Yes. Because that was me at 21. And four and a half years later, 26 years old, I graduated college. I got a degree in family science. I quit my job and I had a real estate portfolio paying me six figures a year and I didn't have to work. So I was financially free at a basic level already at 26 years old. And because I had done it once, you know what I said? I'm gonna do this again. And so, I'll, and so 25 homes turned into 100 homes and 100 homes turned into 1,000 homes. 
And 1,000 homes turned into thousands of homes. But then along the way, I learned a lot of other really, really cool stuff. I finally got a chance because I'm now friends with billionaires. I've learned how people figured out. No one's got this roadmap and it's not published in any book. And it's not get lucky with a tech company and call your name Zuckerberg or Musk or try to like invent spaceships that go to Mars. Like realistically, how does anyone in your situation financially make it really big? Who wants to know? So why are we having a conversation anyway about financially making it big? Because is that what you need to live a totally full life like Josh Jones is telling you we're talking about here today? No. no. More money equals what? More options. more options. That's it. More money, more options. How many of you want to have more options in life? Be honest at what you really want. What do you really want if you have the money? Oscar wants to retire his dad. What other specific wants do you have? What kind of travel? I want to go to Europe. You want to go to Europe? Like once a year I take a trip and then I'm, I call myself a traveler? No, if you could travel as much as you want, I'm curious, how much would you want to travel if, if you could? Three months a year. Three months a year? Like every month. Like every single month? What else? A week out of every month. A week out of every month? Has anyone here ever traveled so much for pleasure that you got pleasured out and learned where your barometer is, where you cap out? My wife and I, last week, we were in the Galapagos with our family on a private yacht, took our private jet to get down there. Before that, we were in Hawaii with our daughter. Before that, I was in Ukraine doing a service humanitarian mission. Before that, I was in Alaska hunting the world's biggest bear that I could find apex predator in North America. Before that, before that, like, I know what it's like to travel too much and you do have a limit and uh, you get to discover what yours is for you. So I get the travel. By the way, 10 years ago, I was making my wife a special present and I, I needed to comb through 10,000 pictures she had archived in our first 10 years of knowing each other. And I needed to find the top 100 pictures. When I was done five and a half hours later going through all 10,000, I had picked the top 100. And you know what I found, Sam? I found that 91 of the 100 of my favorite life moments were found when I was traveling. So 10 years ago is when we decided we were gonna travel the world. We weren't gonna travel once a year. We were gonna see everything at least once before we ever saw anything ever again. And we became world travelers because we found that being financially successful for us is really about making memories. Like that's big for us. So I love the world travel. What else do you want? I wanna give back to the world. People who need help, people who are in danger and need food, I wanna be there to help them. Yeah, how many of you, if you were really financially successful, would love to make a really meaningful philanthropic impact? Yeah, I'm not surprised because I know who Josh is and I, un and I understand the kind of people he attracts. So that is not surprising. And I wanna thank you, Joseph, for sharing that. And that is like massively huge for me and my wife. Someday we had wanted to start a nonprofit and then we did. And now we've been able to participate in some really, really amazing give backs, which create some of the most amazing memories. Um, when I was in Kiev a month and a half ago and we had five missiles strike down nearby about two miles away while we were delivering aid to the front lines, there was a part of that was scary, but there was also a part of it in me that said, it's not enough to see this stuff on the news. We can make a difference, we need to, we have an obligation. With great power comes great, come on, it's Spider-Man, right? With great power comes great. And guess what money is? It's power, it's the ability to buy influence, it's the ability to do things that other people couldn't. So, so philanthropic work, huge. What else do you want? Hello? There's a no other wants in the room? What's your name? What's your name? Samantha. Hey, hey Samantha. Samantha. I want a successful relationship. Awesome. Yeah. How meaningful would that be to you? Extremely How important would it be to you? Uh, probably the top most important thing, second to like probably a relationship with God. Beautiful. So for you, it's about you, you and God, and you and this very special person in your life. Thank you for sharing that. Curious, if you are financially successful, does that open up any options or opportunities? Yes. Number one reason for divorce is what? Money. 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 Stress. The lack of it. Got it. Beautiful. My wife and I, you know what we decided when we were young? We said, we don't want our kids to be educated in school. We want to customize our education and we want to give them a global education, a world education, an education that can only be found in the world instead of a textbook. It was a huge driving force for us, yeah.
And my original motivator, by the way, to become financially free was this woman right here because I just loved her so much and I was working so hard that I felt the imbalance of yay for me money, yay for me freedom, but am I really free? Can you really be free without time and money? If you have money but no time, are you free? And if you have all the time but you have no money because you're a professional couch surfer, are you free? No, real freedom is always gonna be what? Time and time and money. And you get to decide how much or how little that is. I wanna share with you a blueprint today. Josh wants me to share a blueprint on how elite can make real goals and real dreams come true. Not, yay, we made a quarter million a year. Wow, we made a half a million. Yay, we made a million. You, like we've gotta transcend and have a game plan beyond that. How many of you know that? Do you guys get that? So can I give you that game plan? Yes. Then from there, we're gonna talk about where motivation comes from. Who's excited about that conversation? Yes. How many of you really wanna know where real, real firepower motivation really comes from? Yes or yes? Yes. Okay, and then if we have some time, we're gonna do some other fun stuff. Is all good? Yeah. yeah. Who's excited? Yeah.